Hello there and welcome to this long sword steel mace inspired hip workout. Head down straight to loop town or go for a little fun. Resist. Down. Power resist. Down. Twist, stop, twist. This is going to be primarily based for those who are interested in historical European martial arts, so HEMA, um, and work with swords, do martial arts competitions, etc. with our, this is a blunt sword, with uh, little bits of swords. Hey, you don't have to own a sword, you can do this just for the sheer fun of it, you know, why not? It is a warrior level, so an intermediate level workout. The workout is going to focus mainly on motion and anti-motion or momentum and anti-momentum, okay? So this is going to be working on things like inducing the speed, but then slowing that down at the last moment. And that eccentric slowdown portion is going to, one, teach you more control in your fights, and two, that eccentric is going to really challenge the tendons and the ligaments to help strengthen them. So yes, it's gonna work the muscles very nicely, the explosive concentric portion. However, the slowing it down is going to really stretch and pull and challenge those ligaments, tendons, or the connective tissue that then makes them adapt with good recovery and good nutrition. They'll adapt, strengthen to help reduce the chances of injuries in the future. So it's gonna be a very shoulder heavy and very wrist heavy workout. And um, for those who are HEMA enthusiasts, yes, you can start putting in a little bit of footwork from time to time. So let's put this thing away for now. And we're gonna start the workout with a warm up. You're gonna want your mace handy for this warm up as well. You could do it with a sledgehammer, although with the balance points of this being an intermediate level workout, I would advise you do this with the mace and air on the side of caution and go for a lighter mace. This is a five kilogram mace. A sword is what? Two to three kilograms tops and it's all the weights towards your hands, whereas the mace, five kilograms, a lot of it's, the center of gravity is a lot further out. So if you do have a lighter one, air on the side of caution, go for a lighter one first. So with your mace ready, with some drinks at hand as well, nearby, let's get started with the warm up. First thing you're going to do is a V-neck plank, okay? So what we're going to do is draw a V with the nose. I'll do this vertical for now. You'll take your chin to your chest and then your nose or your chin to a shoulder, that's one side of the V, back down to the chest and then up over to the other side. So you feel a stretch on one side of the neck, contraction on the other. However, you're going to do all this whilst in the plank position. This is an intermediate level, so I want to see a full plank out of you where we can for as long as you can. 20 reps, chin to chest, and then to shoulder is one, back down to chest, other shoulder is two, chest, shoulder, three. So it's going to be 10 reps per side alternating. Right, so in your low plank position, feet out and then chin to chest, Chin to shoulder, one, chin to chest, shoulder, two, chest, shoulder, three. Make sure you feel the stretch on the neck, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Relax there, knees down under control. Good. So apologies for any rubbing on the mic there. Next up, we have wrist cars. So wrist controlled articulated rotations. For this one, you want your hands out, spread those fingertips, lift your knuckles so your palms are exposed, then with the arms as straight as possible, rotate the hands so the palms are facing you, and then point the fingers to the floor, stand on your tiptoes. One, 
knuckles, palms, tiptoes, two, knuckles, palms, knuckles, palms, four, knuckles, palms, five, six, we're going for 20 reps, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, knuckles, palms, down, 13, knuckles, palms, 14, 15, knuckles, palms, 16, knuckles, palms, 17, probably burning now, 18, 19, and 20, heels down, fingers relax, shake it off a little bit there. Into the hammer time salute. So if you've been following any of these mace workouts, this one will be pretty common to you. Take a wide stance, both hands up in the saluting position, and then one arm down, straighten it out, back to the salute, down, straight, salute. Now get some weight transition with the hips, down, straight, salute, down, straight, salute. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20, relax there, bring the feet back in. Next up, grab your mace, we've got around the worlds to do. We're gonna start in an inward thumb grip, Plant those feet and keep the heels locked to the floor. So I want the rotation to come from the torso rather than lifting the heels to get that extra cheeky movement with the hips. And same with the hands, don't let them rotate around the mace, lock them in. So we're gonna challenge your mobility on this one, we're working the joints. From here, we're going to perform an uppercut to the opposite side and then all the way up, lift the mace up, put your head through the gap, onto the shoulders, and then reverse on the other side. One, so full uppercut, follow through, over the back, round, and return. Two, now going again, keep those heels on the floor. Three, four, five, this should be challenging your mobility. Six, great for all those overhead things. Seven, your schwerkhaus, your ox. Eight, nine, working the torso, and 10. Reset, changing hands, in with dumb grip, 10 the other way. Lock those feet, a little bit of a bend in the knee, allow the hips to move where you can, but do not let the feet move. Let's go again. Uppercut to the other side, all the way up, follow through, and down. So I'm just gonna do one from the side so you get a bit of a different angle. There's one rep, uppercut, Follow through from the head. Two, go again. Three, four, steady breathing throughout. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 at that. Happy days. Put the mace down, we've got some arm rotation squats to come up next. If you can, put a lean into this as well, to start stretching off the obliques. Otherwise, keep it steady. I'll show you both variants now. So arm rotations, nice big circles with the hands, keeping the arms straight. Big circle, bicep to the ear. As the hands come down, you squat, brush the floor, and up, two. If you want to lean, you lean one side, three. Lean the other side, four, five. Feel that stretch up the side, six. Arms up, seven. All about control, not speed. Eight, nine, and 10. Good, back the other way now. So, opposite to the direction you've just done. We go up and over and down, one, up and over. Two, we can add in that lean. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine and ten relaxing there so as you can probably hear even i'm a little bit out of breath grab a drink then grab your mace we're going to do our fundamental metronomes and pendulums quick drink Grab the base. We have our metronomes to start with. So feet shoulder width apart, soft knees, hips forward, shoulders back, head up, good posture. Mace in the rack position. Over, over, one, over, over, two, three, four, five. Under control, six. Warming up the wrist, seven. Make sure it is in the wrist and not the arms. Eight. Nine, keep the forearms off the body. 10, back up to center. Ballistic curl to change. Back up again. Right, 10 reps. Over, over, one. Over, over, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, good posture, and 10, rack, ballistic curl to change hands. Now we're going to go into the Ronin pendulum. So we're going to take a lateral lunge, so point the top finger, lateral lunge that way, go onto the opposite leg, place the mace on the shoulder, weight behind you, and we're going to do 10 pendulums from there. Initiate the movement, with the torso, after that, it's all in the wrists. So, hands behind the head, initiate the swing, and then wrists, one, two, hips forward, three, head up, four, keep that weight on the leg, five, six, seven, eight, nine, grip with the lead hand, 10, resist, tricep press over the shoulder, even the weight distribution with the legs. Ballistic curl. And now we're going to transition the weight onto the opposite leg again. So the way you can point, we go over, on the shoulder, behind, go again, swing, swing, one, two. Let the lead hand do the work. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, resist there, tricep press, and over, then walk the feet back in from there. Happy days. Grab a drink, we're gonna go through the exercises you're doing today, give them a go, it's kind of like a second stage warm up, and gives you a chance to figure out which variation you want to go for. Hope you've had a drink, quick drink, small sips. Let's go through the exercises. So the first one we're going to do is a ghost slam. This is very much about resisting the momentum at the bottom. We do not want to hit the floor. We're going to imagine we're trying to do tire slams or you're hitting a fence post with a sledgehammer, okay? We're gonna mimic that kind of movement. You want an upward thumb grip. You're gonna start mace behind you in a sort of paddle position lift the mace up overhead and slide the lead hand down as you squat with a bit of power and then resist slow the mace down as it gets to the floor we take our opposite hand off grab as we move the mace round do a little adjustment up and over slide squat so i'll do this from a different angle for you we go behind up and over slide squat resist mace to the other side adjust up slide squat resist change up slide squat resist and then keep that momentum going put a little bit of power and resist the power power resist power resist that try not to hit the floor if you want to make that slightly easier change the mace around have the weighted head towards you and do a similar thing. So this is gonna be more like a downward slice, a downward cut. We are up and over, down, change, up and over, and down. And you're gonna feel the weight difference there. It's gonna be a little bit easier. 
Likewise, when you're doing the weighted end forward, so we're going to imagine the ball is actually the pointy end of a sword, you can take a wider grip and that will use less leverage to make it a little bit easier. You can make it harder by bringing the grip closer. That's going to be much more challenge on the wrists. If you really want to pump up your heart rate, do it plyometric, okay? You're going to do a slight jump, you bring the mace behind, and then you jump and slam behind, jump and slam. We're not after mega height, just the weight of gravity of your body bringing the momentum down is going to add that much more challenge. And as you can already hear, my breath is going just from two reps. So if you really want to make it cardiovascular, go for that. Next up. So we're going to do an underhow. Um, forgive me, I don't know what the Italian name for it is, but we're going for an upward slice or an under slice from there. We're going to take our L stance. I'll be in that position, don't worry, I'm going to demonstrate with this mace in a moment. And then we're going to bring it round and slice upwards. How you get back to the start position is up to you. Either if you want to just drop down or go for a bit of a flourish, that'll be your choice. With a mace, it's going to look something like this. So hands, probably about 50-50 distribution, pointing slightly forward. And we're going to bring the mace round, underneath and up. And then again, you can do a little bit of a flourish return or underneath and just return. So slice, return. Remember, you're gonna have momentum. You've got to resist that. We want to go under and stop the mace in vertical in that kind of ox position, that high guard and down. So cut and up, change, cut and up from there. You can make this easier by having the handle forward. So you can do a very similar sort of thing. If you want to, for those HEMA enthusiasts, you can put in a bit of footwork and go from there. But that's your choice of what you want to work on in your workout. If you want to make it harder, you're going to see a general theme here. If you want to make it harder, bring that grip closer in. And then just go from about 50-50 to about 25%. That gets a lot harder. So give it a few goes and see how it feels. Then, once you've nailed one side, do it again with the other hand. So we're gonna change sides, change hands. And we'll go again, just give it a few practice reps. It's gonna start warming you up, start getting those tendons and those muscles primed, ready for when we put some real power and effort into it from there. Next up, we're gonna go for a middle cut or a middle how. And we're going to do a little bit of footwork from here. All right. We're going to start in that L stance again. I'll go this way, a little bit of a better view for you. And then mace can be on the shoulder or slightly off in a kind of Vontag guard. We come around, flatten the mace out, slice across the body and then use that momentum to change the feet. Then we come back up, quick change of the hands, down, slice, change, slice, change, slice. What I want to see is stopping that mace. So we'll go from here, we're going to stop that mace at the kind of forward position. If we're going round, we want to resist that. We want to resist that extra momentum. So we stop, mace vertical, change the hand. So it's a um, more of a battle stance, a battle strike. And then we flatten, cut, change, battle stance, flatten, cut, and go again. You can make this easier by widening the grip. That reduces some of the leverage. You can, like I said, common theme, go tail or handle first, do the same sort of thing. If you really want to, especially if you've got the room, we can do a whirlwind instead. So we start in our guard, we come around, flatten, do a halo around the head, then change the feet, Grab, up, go again, halo, change the feet, halo, change the feet, halo, change the feet. So this is actually using the momentum to your advantage rather than resisting it. When it's more explosive, you have to put more power into it, your heart rate's gonna go up from there. Cool. Next up, we are gonna be doing the Schwerkau. So I'm gonna take a offset stance, and we're going to start in ox 
So we start with arms crossed you, X factor. And then we're going to whip round and whip back again. If you want to, for those enthusiasts, you can put a bit of footwork in there. That's up to you. With the mace, this is a lot harder. You can't whip round as fast. You've got to induce the power and then you've got to try and slow it down before your wrists reach their maximum potential. It is quite hard, it is a strain. So starting in our guard, we go into ox guard, so cross over the arms and then bring the mace round, slow it down. Bring the mace round, slow it down. So whip and slow, whip and slow. And that is gonna be quite hard. Again, we can do handle forward instead. There we go. Whip, stop, whip, stop, whip, stop. Okay? If you want to make it harder, narrow that grip. And that gets a lot harder. If you have a wider grip, that's a little bit easier. Then allow the feet to move as well so we can get that extra torso rotation. Once you've given it go on one side, change hands over and we do it again on the other side just for a few warm-up reps so mace forward mace head forward or tail depending on your variation cross and then unravel and ravel it back up unravel and ravel it back up and adjust the hands adjust the choke on the mace to find a point that's comfortable for you so that you can maintain control and you'll feel that in the wrist trying to resist the momentum after that, we've got a figure eight drill on either side. So for this one, we are going to start in that cross guard again, that ox guard, and then we're going to do a, for those enthusiasts, a false head strike first. So we're going to go down behind the back, come a big circle, and then down in front of the body. Change, we come False egg strike up in front of the body and then true edge behind the body. Flip over, so it'll be down behind, down in front, change, up in front, up behind and change or down, down, change, up, up, change, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Now doing this with the mace, Wow, does that make it 100 times harder. So we're gonna take our grip, I'd probably say take a wider grip than you reckon you can. We go the same again, cross guard position, so ox, and then down behind the body, come a big circle, down in front of the body, change, up in front, up behind, change, down, down, change, up, up, change, down, down, up up. So really have a loose grip, especially on that lead hand. So we're going for that joystick motion. You let the rear hand do the work. Same again. You can change round, have the handle forward. So cross, down, down, change, up, up, down, down, up, up. Going from there. Once you've got that nailed, give it a go on the other side. So if you were Right hand on top, you're now going to be left hand on top, or left lead hand, cross position, down, down. One way will be harder than the other, trust me. Up, up, change, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. And you're going to be using momentum to your advantage, trying to time it, keep the mace under control. Give those a go, get them nailed, give them a practice. And then join me again when you're ready for the workout. Grab a drink, clear the area of kids, pets, breakables, and then we'll get started with the workout. Good, mace to hand, drink nearby. We're going to go through the workout. It's gonna be 40 seconds effort, 20 seconds rest per exercise. We're gonna get through all eight, then we'll have a minute's rest, then we'll do all eight again, and that is the workout moving on into a cool down after that. Good. So first one up is gonna be go slams, get ready in position, and I'll start our countdown, ready to go. All 
time. We're gonna get cracking in 10 seconds. Find a pace and stick with it. It's all too tempting to go out real fast. So up and over, down, control. Up and over, down, control. Change grips, up and over. Change grips, up and over. So find a pace, resist the momentum. And then just keep with it. You can go for the easier version by having the handle forward instead. If you do change from one to the other, it feels a bit weird, but you'll soon get into it. Or you can go for plyometric up and over, plyometric up and over. Squat down, get that bum down. Go slam, squat, slam and squat. Relax there for a moment. Good. So next one, we've got our under strike or our under howl in 10 seconds. So as a reminder, L stance position in your guard. Imagine the mace head is the pointy end of the sword. And then behind you, cut up, return, cut up, return, cut, return. So resist that momentum at the top and down, resist and down, power resist and down. So we can add in some footwork if you want to. And again, remember, we can go tail forward instead and adjust the length of the grip, the width of the grip to your advantage. Go ahead, keep going. My shoulders are burning already. Find a pace. Stick with it. One. Final cut. Stop there. Right. Changing hands over. And then we're going to change feet. So my right hand is my opposite hand. It's on the bottom. So my right foot is going to be forward. So three, two, one. And go again. Match the difficulty level you just did. So if you got halfway through and then change to a tail or handle strike, get halfway through and do the same. Mirror the round you just did. We're trying to keep our body balanced. There's no point one side getting stronger than the other. We want to keep nice and balanced for daily life. As most of us all have jobs, families that we need to do as well. So 10 seconds, find that pace, breathe out as you cut. Three, two, one, last cut, rest there. Cool. All right, now we're bringing in the middle strike with the footwork. So deep breaths. All right, let's find that L stance position. My left foot is forward, my left hand is at the bottom of the mace. Ready? And flatten, cut, switch, change. Flatten, cut, switch, change. Breathe out as you cut. Resist that momentum. Stop the mace. Quick change of the feet. Try and stay on the spot. Good. Stay on the spot. Pick a marker on the floor. Or get yourself level with a prominent object. And keep going. Remember, we can do this tail instead. If anything, it's actually a little bit harder to stop because there's no weight to feel. But it's easier on the wrists. Last cut. Stop there. Oh. Right. Schwer cows. Okay. These are, wow, I hate these. We've got to do a little bit of what we like, a little bit of what we don't. Let's go from there. So. L stance, ox position, unravel, stop the momentum, ravel back up, stop, twist, stop, twist, stop. So find a pace. It's 40 seconds, but by word, does this one burn? Keep his hands above the head. Adjust the grip if you need to. Resist the momentum, that's what works the tendons, remember. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more, three, two, one, last cut. All right, shake it out, we've got to do that again on the other side, yeah? 
So that was right hand forward, right hand on top. Now I'm going to do left hand. Find the length of the grip that's going to work for you. Ah, right. Starting the stance, cross, so X factor, unravel, ravel back up, Ugh. unravel, ravel back up. Good, keep those arms up, slow it down, trying to keep going for the full 40. I'd rather go a little bit slower to manage the full set than balls to wall and have to stop a little bit soon. Little breaks if you need to, get back into it as soon as you can. Keep breathing. Come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop there. Right, figure eight drill now. Take it slow, take it smooth. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast, right? That's what the American Marines say, isn't it? All right. Find our stance. Cross guard again. Right. Down behind. Down in front. Change. Up in front. Up behind. Change. So right. down behind. Big circle. Down in front. Change. Up in front. Big circle. Up behind. Change. Down. Down. Change. Up. Up. Change. Down. Down. Change. Up. Up, change, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So adjust your grip width to make this more difficult or easier. And rest there. Right, keep your hands on the mace. We're going to change them over. We've got this one to do. And then it's a minute's break from there. So let's change our hands over, get ready in our stance, cross guard, your ox, and down behind, down in front, change, up in front, up behind, down behind, big circle, down in front, change, up in front, big circle, up behind, change, down, down, change, up, up, change, down, down, change, up, up, change, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So keep that momentum, keep the rhythm. Good, a few more seconds, come on. Three, two, one, last cut, stop there. Whoa, one minute rest. So hopefully, I know I am, feeling it in the wrists, heart rate's up. Shoulders are getting there. I think they're definitely in this next round, they're gonna feel it. Oh, so if you're liking this workout, if you like the steel mace, please subscribe to the channel. It certainly helps me out. Like the video, and uh, if you're liking the top, head over to the website where you can pick yourself up one as well. Once you've earned it, this is the warrior level. Oh, 20 seconds, right. Small sips of drink. We've got a few seconds and you're straight back into ghost slams. Last round now. Keep the pace. Ghost slams, get ready. Oh, so up with thumb grip. One, and up overhead, down. Up overhead, down. So really get that squat in there. Get that ass to the floor. Ass the grass, right? Up and over, resist, don't hit the floor. Up and over, resist. Up and over, resist. Good. So, use that power. Change, up and over. Change, up and over. Good, 10 seconds to go. Keep that control. That poise, that control. Three, two, one. Rest there. Good. Under how next? So our undercut, under slice, whatever you want to phrase it as. It's hard work either way. So let's find our stance in a few seconds. Two, one, and undercut up, undercut, get back however you need to. 
whether that's a bit of a flurry or just straight back down into the set position, cut, set, cut, and set. Breathe out on the cut. And then resist that momentum. You're trying to control this. Try and get the mace head to eye level, maybe a little bit higher. You should be feeling it in the wrists. But keep that front wrist slightly loose. Relax there. Right, deep breaths, change hands. 10 seconds, come on. All right, let's find that stance again. Oh. No. Nice head forward. And cut, return, cut, breathe out, return. Cut, breathe out, return. So allow the heels to move. Good. Let's keep going. So, cut, return, cut, return. Three, two, one, rest there. A right, couple of seconds, run that middle cut next. So, find your stance. Make some vertical for now. And flatten, cut, change. Flatten, cut, and change. Resist that momentum. Good. Breathe out in the cut. Keep the hands close to the body. It's so strain enough as it is with the heavier weight and a different center of gravity. Keep the torso nice and tight. Chest up, protecting that lower back. 10 seconds. Come on. Five, three, two, one. Last cut and rest there. Right. Oh, see these things again. Right, stroke house. Oh, so those little halo things over top. I think I am actually going to do this handle forward. Two, one, cross, and then unravel. Go back, go back. Resist, switch, resist, switch. You know what? I'm going to go handle forward, mace head forward even. So that was 27 seconds. Use the progressions and regressions. Your alternatives to your advantage, go up and down, use them, just keep going. Two, one, rest there. Right, so I switched at the 27 second mark. I'm gonna try and do the same again. Ah, so switching hands over this time. I'm gonna go left hand forward this time. Right, cross, and then switch, resist, switch, resist. Good. And there's my marker to change sides. All right, let's get into it as soon as we can. 20 seconds. Keep breathing. Right, if we do need a rest, straight back into it. One side's gonna be stronger than the other. Three, two, one. Stop there. Oh, right, last two exercises. Then we've got a rest, then a cool down. Yeah, my wrists are definitely feeling it. Good, that's what we want. We want to push, we want to adapt. Right then. No. Fox guard, 
down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So find a rhythm, stick with it. Keep that front hand loose, that top hand, that lead hand. The more you death grip the mace, the more of a challenge it's gonna be on your wrist, the more likely of injury we're gonna get. You want to keep control, but just enough control. Loose grip, let the mace move in the hand. Your fingers might even come off the handle for brief moments. Two, one, rest there. All right, last one, last figure eight drill. Cool. 10 seconds, let's change the grips. Mirror what you've just done. Right then, three, two, cross guard, and down, down, change, up, up, change, down, down, change, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Good, keep this going. Use the momentum for your advantage. Oh, the sweat dripping in the eye, it stings. Tough, let's keep going. Absolutely braced. 10 seconds, come on. Come on, and three, two, one, final cut. Rest there. Oh, wow, right. One minute, I can't even hold my finger up to do one. There we go, one minute. Let me get this sweat out my eye. Oh, that's better. Good, right. Move around, keep the chest up. Try not to collapse to the floor, keep the chest up. Little walks, small sips. You're more than welcome to join me for the cool down in 30 seconds, or pause the video. You know, wait until you are settled and poised enough and we've got our three little exercises to do, or one exercise and two stretches, a warm down and two stretches. Good. Right. Little bits, just keep moving around. All right, five seconds. <whistles> Boom. Hopefully you're breathing. It's settled enough now, you're a little bit more under control. Sweatings, maybe just about starting to uh, die down. For me, I can't feel my wrists at the minute. Well, I can, I can just feel heavy. So hopefully you're about the same. Right, let's go into our cool down. So we're going to do a Kang squat or your best version of a Kang squat you can do. You know, I'll openly admit my Kang squat is terrible, but it's what we work on, isn't it? And you're going to take a squat stance. You can either go arms across the chest, arms at the temples or arms out straight, depending on how advanced you want to go. So as it's the first time I've introduced it, I'm just gonna go arms across the chest here. So we want to hinge forward and then squat down, bum goes down, but let the chest stay where it is. So the chest lift, bum goes down. So bum down, chest up, and stand up from the squat. There's one rep. We're gonna go for 10 at a slow controlled pace. Hinge. Bum down, chest up, stand up. Two, hinge, bum down, chest up, stand up. Three, hinge, squat, stand. Four, hinge, squat. Five, hinge, squat. Six, hinge, squat. Seven, this might be a bit tricky. It is a bit of a mobility challenge. Eight, try and do your best version. Nine, and last one, down and up for 10. Good. Next up, thread the needle. We're going to kneel down, tabletop position, and then you're going to lift one hand up and thread that very same hand through the gap between the arm and the leg. Place the head on the floor for a count of 20 seconds or so. There. Tabletop. Lift, thread, head and shoulder down, and a little bit of pressure through the knuckles into the floor. You may feel this in the lower back. 
steady breathing. And there's a human count of 20. Changing sides, so it may not be in exactly 20 seconds, but it's just a count. Slight pressure in the knuckles. Deep breaths. And then relax, coming back up into tabletop. From here, we're going to take a kneeling seated position and we're going to stretch the wrists off. So for this, you want your palms down, fingers pointing towards the feet. Try and keep the fingers spread as well for that extra bit of stretch. Palms down on the floor, lift yourself up slightly. And then from here, keeping the arms straight, gently sit down. Once your stretch is at its max, just hold it there for a moment. A deep breath and then try and get a little bit deeper. If you can sit all the way down, pull your hands further away forward. I'll make the stretch deeper. And gently sitting back up, so pressure on the knees. We're going to flip the hands over, so back of the hands on the floor. Same principle, fingers pointing towards the feet, arms straight and gently sit down into it. If you can get your weight fully on your heels, bring the hands forward slightly and go again. And then relax, gently lift, easing the pressure. Going from there. Happy days. So, hope you enjoyed that workout. Hope that's gonna bring you some uh, extra resilience, extra bit of strength. And if you like this video, like I said, please subscribe, like the channel, drop any comments away if you've had any troubles or you know anything you liked about that. And hopefully, I'll see you again soon.